Welcome. So this question says a 35 coulomb positive charge is located at the origin. So let's just draw this. This is big Q. And what is the change in potential energy that is experienced by a 2 coulomb positive charge as it moves from a point located at that to a point located at that? Okay. So let's draw in our equipotential lines. I'm doing a slice through three-dimensional space here. And then I take my two coulomb positive and initially it's at zero, th uh, three zero zero, so it's in the x direction. And that's going to be my start. And then it is at zero minus seven zero, so it's going to be seven minus seven in the y direction. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to do something like that. And this is going to be 3 meters. And this here is going to be 7 meters. Again, I don't care if it's positive or negative. I don't care if it's to the left or to the right or up or down. All I care, all I care about is the distance between this little charge. I'm going to change that to a little charge. Q. That's all I care about is how far that little charge is away from that big charge and where it starts and where it ends. So if I think back, then what I know is that my potential energy difference is equal to Q times my potential difference. And my potential energy difference for a point charge is going to equal Q times and the expression for delta V for a point charge is Ke big Q 1 over R final minus 1 over R initial So this gives us delta U point is equal to Q, K, E, big Q, that's the, the mother charge if you like, 1 over R, F minus 1 over R, I. So delta U point is going to equal Q, well little Q is plus 2, and then we have times K, E, and Big Q is plus 35, and then we have 1 over an RF. You end up 7 meters away, 1 over 7 minus, and you started off only 3 meters away, 1 over 3. So let's tidy up a little bit. Delta U point is equal to 70 Ke. One, uh, so let's call it three over twenty-one minus seven over twenty-one, <clears throat> which equals seventy ke times minus four over twenty-one. So a delta u point is going to equal. Uh, let's look. That's going to be. Uh, well, minus 40 over 3 Ke, which equals minus 1, 3, minus 13.3 Ke, and it's a change in potential energy, so it's going to be joules. So there we have it. It's there. Does it make sense? In particular, the sign. So let's have a look where we're kind of living on the side of a volcano and we start off here and we kind of go around the cold volcano and we end up down there. So we end up at a lower height than we started and if you take a boulder from high up on a volcano to low down on a volcano it has less potential energy, so it's changing potential energy is negative, 
and we took a positive charge, positive charge lower down on a, a further away from a positive charge and so we have less potential energy and so the change is a negative value. So it seems to make sense. There we have it.